Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at our market leading stocks for the coming session. This is going to be for Friday, that's expiration Friday, January 17th, 2014. Got a little bit of a skew to the sell side here on the uh, NASDAQ side, but really not enough to hang your hat on. Do have some um, some features to talk about though, aside from just the uh, straight up signals. Seeing a pretty negative candle setting up in Sina. That one's about 3% below the day's open. We also have a pretty good move down below the VWAP, so they're definitely uh, hitting that one pretty hard. And we also have a volume bump that goes along with it. Got a volume bump in Entertainment Arts that's trading more than two times its typical volume. That's more than 1.5% below, uh, below the day's open. Adobe, not very much movement, but a lot of volume. Keep an eye on this. If it breaks out of today's range, there was a fair amount of stock traded both ways today. Take a look at the financials. We're uh, a little bit biased to the buy side. And there's excellent volume. There's uh, earnings out in a number of the issues, so that's carrying forward. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about the volume bumps. As far as the individual movement goes, pretty good movement here in MetLife. Pretty good movement also in Goldman Sachs, down around more than two, about two percent below the day's open. We caught a short in that one today. That worked out pretty well. We got short that one uh, relatively early after it set up its opening range in the first 15 minutes. And then profit from that to the downside. We shorted that under 177. The uh, Citigroup shares are weak, and that's again on earnings. Taking a look at the uh, at the energy names, um, not really so much action there today as far as signals go, but we do have some pretty good movement and a fair amount of weakness. Valero's weak. Rig is 1% below the day's open. PBR. Uh, CHK is the uh, only major that's really positive, trading uh, typical volume, but it's up 1.5% uh, above the day's open. Moving on to the market generals, uh, Best Buy uh, caught a long in that today. That one's putting up a contra buy signal where it closed above the day's open. We uh, took Best Buy long today above uh, opening five-minute range, and uh, that worked out really, really well. That one's 3.5%. Uh, above the open. A couple of volume bumps here to be aware of as well. HPQ as well as UNH VMware. That one's got a contra sell signal and Walmart's trading good volume too. As far as the housing names go, definitely uh, bias to the buy side here. Home Depot actually has an upside CPS condition. DHI, very very strong day. Uh, unfortunately no, no uh, signal with the DHI. A little bit light on the volume. Moving on to the commodities, definitely some uh, reshuffling of the deck here. Got a good volume in Alcoa. That's 4% above the day's open, but that one is posting an RPS sell signal, so be aware of that. Got a uh, contra sell signal in double G, but that one's on very, very light volume. Newmont, light volume with an upside CPS. And U.S. Steel, more than about 2% below the day's open on some fairly decent volume with a downside CPS condition, so keep that on your list for tomorrow. All right, folks, remember, tomorrow is uh, expiration Friday, so we could see, um, uh, we probably will see barbell uh, volume, meaning a bunch of volume on the open, volume tails off quite dramatically during the middle of the day, and then that barbell uh, volume on the close. So just be ready for that. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.